Hey guys, I want to go over this virtual array again really quickly just to show you the power behind it. So if I have this ornament and I want to make, this is an ornament backer, and I want to make several of them and see how they're going to best fit on my material, I'm going to go over here to my grid array. I'm going to make, let's say, five copies. I'm going to set them at zero. That gives me a total width of 12.9. So say my total width of my material is 20. So 20.7 if I do eight of them, it's gonna to be too long. So I'm gonna to wanna to try and space this out a little bit better. So the first thing I'm gonna try and do is mirror them. Down here, mirror, mirror my alternate columns in Y. Uh, and then I can kind of squeeze them together, but still, you know, 19.6 is good, but I really wanna have it a little bit smaller. So what I'm going to do is go out here and hit create a virtual array. And I'm going to hit OK. Now I can go in and adjust this one piece. It's going to adjust everything I've made until I get it to as thin as it possibly can. So let's go here. That's going to bring it too far out. This is going to bring it a little bit closer. Let me go back into my array. I'm going to adjust my X column a little bit. Bring it back in some more. And now I see that I can really get a few more in here. And that, again, is by going in, turning on virtual array, hitting OK, and going out here and kind of playing with how this whole thing is going to lay out before setting it as, you know, as given as what I'm going to do. Uh, so I'm going to bring that down. I'm going to go back to my array. I'm going to turn off virtual. It is going to make them all lay out the way I want to. And I'm just going to hit OK. And now I've got the least amount of Y space or rather X space taken um, on my material. Hopefully that helps everybody out and allows you to start nesting things a little bit better, cutting out more pieces. That virtual array is very powerful when it comes to setting up big sheets of material and doing multiples at the same time. Hope you all are having a wonderful day.